Okay, this is a couple of things that happened to me in Moldova, but I've got to emphasize again that they could have happened anywhere, but they're probably more likely to happen in these countries, aren't they? Let's face it. I mean, it could happen anywhere. But anyway, I had two incidences which unnerved me, not very nice, I'm not bragging about them. I'm not saying, uh, oh, didn't I do well by spotting them i'm just forewarning people more than anything else thank you yeah another one of those please yes please yeah. somebody's offering me a beer i'll take it so uh where were i sorry yeah yeah i had two uh pickpocketing uh incidents i know i shouldn't really be pickpocketing but hey i've got to pay for this trip okay it's a joke it's a joke okay I was, they tried to pickpocket me, not the other way around, okay? Stick with the story. Okay, right, so here we go. Uh, first one, um, fairly obvious. I, I thought something was gonna about to happen anyway. Uh, I was walking along and the guy was more or less about a yard behind me, so that unnerved me automatically. And then, lo and behold, uh, not really rocket science, a few yards ahead of me, uh, a lady dropped a bag uh, with some food in it. The food ran around, rolled around and the idea was that I was going to bend down and help this poor lady like us British people do, or tourists do, uh, and the guy would have pickpocketed. Right, instead what I did was I turned on him because I thought that it was evident from there. Thank you, sweetness. Um, so, um, I, yeah, turned on him and it, and, it, and this sort of diffused the situation. I'm not, I'm not trying to brag here, I'm not trying to be clever. Um, I'm warning, no, I'm not warning even, I'm just saying that these things happen, they unnerve me, I, I, don't, I don't enjoy them, uh, whatever. Anyway, the second one was, was in a market, again in Moldova, in Chisinau, uh, and it was in a market, it was very, very crowded. I probably stand out like a sore thumb as a tourist, you know, walking around with a map aimlessly. No, I don't do stuff like that, but okay. But anyway, I look different to them, uh, so therefore I, yeah, probably stand out like a sore thumb. Uh, and I'm walking around in a t shirt with Lord's Taverners on it. There you go. English writing, for goodness sake. Come on! Anyway, there you go. Um, and what happened there was somebody barged into me and again it was pretty obvious because there was quite a big gap, there was quite a wide area and this guy coming the other way started looking at the last few yards, he started looking the other way and sort of walked walk straight into me. And again in that split second you, you're aware, you, you've seen these things happen so many times. I think Facebook's a great thing because it actually highlights stuff like that where two or three people are working as a team together. Uh, and sure enough, you know, he knocked me, guy behind me was immediately there and again I went whoa, 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 turned round, faced up to the fella um, and you could tell that, that, that it was a trick that had gone wrong on them, it's as simple as that. So it's unnerving. Um, I've had a few incidences in Moldova which just weren't nice. I actually, actually had one in Bosnia as well. So again, it comes back to this point about would you bring a partner here? No, you wouldn't. You, you really would. You definitely wouldn't on a motorbike under any circumstances. Would, would you really bring a would you bring a lady to these places? I'm not 100% sure. It, 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 they're, they're fantastic to see, but you've got to understand there is, there are atmospheres here. There are, you know, it's it's run by scallies. It's the truth. There you go. I'm just giving you the information. Don't shoot the don't shoot the messenger. I'm just passing it on. That's all.